Hi guys, I thought I'd do this video to give you all a laugh. Um, it's going out to me patrons first and then, you know, a few weeks or months later I'll release it to everybody. Uh, it's basically had me crying with laughter. Some of these videos date back to 2012. I can't even remember doing half of these, but Centurion, one of my subscribers, has compiled all of these and sent me them. So the least I can do is edit the best bits of them together in a compilation video of how to deal with unwanted, unsolicited calls. Many of them are scamming calls, trying to access your PC, trying to uh, get you to pay up, get, get your credit card details. They do this by telling you you've got a virus, then you go to their website, which opens a back door through the admin system of your PC, and then they take control of your computer, plant the virus on, on you, then you give them your credit card details, and then they will fix it. They put it on in the first place. So I know all about what they are, um, but I thought I'd have a bit of fun with them. So hope you enjoy this. Um, this is my experiences with unsolicited calls. I'm not a salesman, I'm, not, I'm a technical person here. It's my duty to worry about it. That's fair enough then. I, I thought for one minute you were a scammer there, but I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd now believe you. So you're a technical um, PC no consultant, problem, yeah? Sir. No problem, no problem, sir. I trust you with my life. No problem, uh, all right. At this point, the guy has told me that I have to go to this website and mouse over a button, which will open a script, and I then have to re read what the options are. He asks me to read the options that I can see. And may I know what the option you can see in this job down menu? Can you please read the very first fourth option for me? It says, would you like to infect your computer with this virus so some twat can access it through a back door and put a virus on your PC? All right, and the second option? It just says, f off. Third option? Piss off. Fourth option? Kiss my ass. Kiss your ass. Yeah, that, that's the fifth option. Okay, so click on fifth of your ass. All right. <laughs> oh, 10 out of 10. You're quite funny, but f off. The, the next guy in here um, totally melts, has no idea what to say when I tell him I'm, that I'm a hacker and I hack into sites which have ferret porn on them. So <laughs> calling you because some hackers are hacked your computer and your computer performing hacking activities through a couple of weeks so your computer is almost corrupted so before your computer gets crashed we have called you to fix this problem. You've got us on. I am a hacker, yes. Are you a hacker? Yeah, so I'm assuming I have to... Are you the police? No, I am calling you to report you. Because you are a hacker. You are not a bad guy. I've been uh, hacking into ferret porn sites. I... I not proud. Not every call's a, a scam trying to take your credit card. A lot of people just want information, personal information about your lifestyle choices so they can sell it on to other companies who can send you even more unsolicited calls to see if they can get you to buy a new washing machine, a new boiler and things like that. So I have no mercy with these people either. I just want rid of them. I don't want to give them any information. So I just give them a whole load of bollocks. I do have life cover. It's with a company called IDDQD. Do you have a life insurance? That's right, yes. Yes, okay. And would you like a would you like a competitive course for life insurance? You can't get better than IDDQD, mate. It makes you invulnerable. It's the best ever life cover you can have. So no, I don't. Not okay. No. And uh, do you can't you compete have with any that. of the following savings available to invest in potential <coughs> high growth investment opportunities? 26. Uh, 26, is it? Yes. Now, at the very beginning of this video, the guy asked me what I did for a living, and I told him that I was a doctor, and that I was actually in my surgery at the minute, but I still would take his call. Um, I call myself Dr. Mac, and uh, this, well, this, <laughs> this next bit's hilarious. If you currently have debt that you are struggling to pay each month, would you be interested in hearing about Oh, you one one the one sec. There's a there's a patient just coming with his jugular hanging out. <laughs> just sewed up, nurse. That'll be fine. Just 
just put a plaster on. Yeah, sorry, he's just bleeding to death in the hole, but I'm fine. Carry on. Okay, so if you currently have debt that you are struggling to pay each month, would you be interested in hearing about how you can reduce your monthly payment? No. So have you or any members of your household had any incident in the last, in the last two years that was somebody else's fault and required medical attention? Yes, we have. I was run over by a runaway combine harvester and um, it was quite nasty and it wasn't my fault. I was just in his field stealing his chickens and he set his combine harvester on us and it chased us right across the field and it caught us. So. Okay, so is it in within the last two years? It was yesterday. Okay, so what kind of accident was it? Well, he... I went through a combine harvester. It mangled everything. It was uh, it was bad. It was pretty bad. Got the chicken right. Back to the credit sc card scammers again. This guy is again asking me to log into his site so that he can get my details, get control of my PC, plant a virus, and get me credit card to pay for it. But I don't know whether this guy cottons on and just goes along with my joke or not. I, I still don't know whether he just is ignorant to it all or whether he was just kind of, damn, I've been sussed. Uh, yeah, let's watch. You have to click on right click on my computer option. Right click, not a left click. Ah, right, I see. I was left clicking. Sorry. Okay, so right click. Yes, I've done that. Yeah. Now, what can you see, sir? What options can you see? Well, option one, it says hang up because I'm being scammed and option two is to abuse scammer on phone so which one do you think I should do? Pardon? Option one is to quit phone yeah. call because dirty filthy scammer is on the other end trying to infect my PC with a virus or option two is to just be abusive to dirty filthy scammer uh, okay, sir. Now choose option one. Option one. Okay. Goodbye, you yeah. dirty, filthy scammer. No, 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 no. This is another one that happened during a live stream. You can't see the text on the screen, but um, they're telling me what to say. There's about a 10 second delay on it, so I have to keep stalling the caller while I check to see what, what they're telling me to say, and I literally can't keep me laughing with this one. Yes, carry on. Are you ready, sir? Yes, I'm ready for the next yeah, thank you. <laughs> Could you repeat the question, please? Which <laughs> age bracket do you fall? Are you 35 to 44, 45 to 54, 55 to 64, 65 to 74, or 75 plus? 75 plus. Okay, sir, but your voice is just like 30 to 35. Yes. Yeah. And My uh, wife's what eating. Are and yes. Are you considering making a will in the next? Uh, in the near future, sorry, in the near future, are you considering making a will in the near future? I'm thinking of making one in the next two minutes, to be honest, love. I'm freaking okay. dying here. It's, um, it's, uh, yeah, no, yes, what, who? No. Yes, I am. No. Yes, no. No, whatever. Okay, thank you. Yes, no, okay, thanks. No, okay. Yeah, okay, and yeah. should I ask, what is the favourite colour? Red, blue, green, yellow, purple, which one? Uh, my favourite colour? Uh, let us think, it's like my favourite colour is... No. Red, green, blue, purple, anyone. <laughs> it's, it's banana. Same colour here guys, but this next bit is just so damn funny. I actually put Furby on the line to talk to her. Uh, do you or anyone in your household have mobility problems? Mobility problems? Um, just Furby. He, he has real problems getting around. He's, he's, he, he, he just sits. Yeah. Do you want a word with him? Oh, uh. Shall I mark yes or no? Hello? This is another one where I was on a live stream and everybody was telling me what to say and again keeping my laugh in how the hell well I just don't let's be honest and how do you carry on with your life 
currently pay for your energy by credit card, on demand, payment card, direct debit, standing order, by cash. Uh, pigeon. Carrier pigeon, have you? Um, have you paid for your NFT? Yes, we send a check um, by okay, pigeon. By cash. Pigeon, okay. yes. Okay. And may I know your first name? Your first name? Uh, Mac. Are you a homeowner or a tenant? I, am I a homeowner or a tenant? I'm. Yeah. Yes, I'm. I, I, I'm neither. I. Uh, I'm. Uh, I live in a car. Um, well, I live in a car, so, you know, yeah, I've got car insurance, yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, and now you find it difficult to make your minimum monthly repayments on your credit card, stock card, or loan, and would like to be contacted by your debt solutions company, who could help reduce your monthly outgoing? No, I'm not, because that's uh, not my credit okay. card. I'm, I'll just okay. stall it. Uh, this next video, this guy is determined that he's going to get my, um, credit card number he's posing as a security expert who's going to safeguard my credit card number from theft even though he's the one that's actually trying to steal it i'm going to provide you the protection id number mr martinson please could you cross check me once again the expiry date oh you want this expiry date of me credit card yes yes sir. one second i'll just go and get it for you all right yes the expiry date is the 25th of November mm -hmm. 2020 20, 20. okay 2014 right yes yeah 11 of 11 of 14 this is the expiration date right sir? yes 11 Yes. Yeah, just above that, uh, you will see the long number. Please could you verify me once again the long number? See, you, you, you want my credit card number now, yes? The call went on and on and on. He didn't give up. He did not give up on me. He, he was determined to get my number, but there's no way I'm giving him it. Yeah, because I'm going to provide you the protection ID number. So mm. All right. So that in future, no one else. Right, okay, so I, I give you all my bank details and then you will send me some protection so that I don't get scammed, is that what you're saying? That's a good Thank idea. You, Thank you very much. You're such a nice guy. Um, let me just get you my credit card number. Yep. Yeah, it's... It's 69... Yep. 69... Six nine six nine. Yes. Yep. Six nine. Yeah, after that? Uh six nine. I'm talking about the uh just above the expiry date. Yeah. The oh I thought you meant the credit card number. Yes. Oh the big number. Across yes. the front of oh, me card. Ah right, yes. Sorry. Right, yes. Six nine. Yep. Six nine. Yep. Six nine. Six nine. Yep. Six nine. Yep. Six nine. Six nine. Six nine. Yes. No one, nobody can misuse anymore without the authorization. Right. And so you, you, you are not going to face any kind of problem misused by anyone your banking information. Right. We are the right person to protect all these information under the Data Protection Act. That is the reason I just want to recheck once again the long number and the expiry date. That's all. All right. That's simple. No props. Okay. Which one do you want first? The number? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the long number on the front page of your card you will see the long 16 numbers yes i see it yes 
Okay. Six nine. Six nine. Yeah, please read me all the long numbers. Yes, I am. Sixteen numbers. Six nine. Six nine. Yeah, just read me. Just read me all the numbers. I I'm reading it. It's so si that I can. It it's six nine. So that I can cross. So that I can recheck once again, right? Yes, right. Okay, ready? Yes. Six nine. Six nine. Read me all the number yes. Right. Six nine. Six nine. Six six nine six nine. Six nine. Six nine. Six nine. Six nine six nine. Six nine six nine. Six nine. Ah hang on. Six nine. Six nine. So what did you what did you sing? what did you sing yourself? What what have I what? Visa debit card. Oh, the Visa debit card. All oh, right. Sorry. Yes. Just a second. I'll get the Visa debit card. That was the wrong one. I was. Sorry. That was my national insurance number. Ah, uh, oh, here it is. Do you want the number? I've found the number now. I was reading you that my national insurance number for some reason. Again, so the long number of Lloyd. The long number, right. 9-6? Yes. 9-6? Nine, 9-6? Nine, no, 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 no. What? No, 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 no. No, no. And the number on the front the is... Read me back. Right. 9-9-6-6-9-9-6-6-9-9-6-6-9-9-6-6. Now, what is your name? Mac Mackerson. And your telephone number? My telephone number is nine six nine six nine six nine six nine nine six six. Back to the lifestyle choice videos, guys. This next one's hilarious. This poor guy. This <laughs> this poor guy. I just I give him the most ridiculous answers ever, and he's just like, all right. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, or ever eighty. I'm um, uh, 70. Okay, is it exactly 70 or 71 to 75 or 76 to 80? I'm 71 and a half, so that's uh, between 70. Okay. Yes. Okay, got it, sir. Sir, are you a homeowner or a tenant? I live in a tent, so I'm a homeowner. Okay. Homeowner, sir. Are yes. you married or single? I'm single, but I am married as well, but the wife doesn't know that I'm single, so it's kind of complicated. Okay. okay. Okay, sir. Who is your current landline telephone provider? Is uh, Telecom, AE, Texas, Sky, Desco, Virgin Media, Post Office? I, I don't have a telephone. You don't have telephone. You are, you are talking with me over telephone, but what do you say? No. You don't have telephone. No, this isn't, a te is this, this isn't a telephone. This is a crystal ball. Okay, sir. So you don't have telephone? No. Okay, not a problem, sir. Uh, sir, who is your current electricity supplier? Is it British Gas, British Power, EDF Energy, EN Energy? It's the one. Electricity? The Wandering Fishman, Sorry? level two. He's awesome. I'm going to buy him another. And finally, guys, and finally, after all these calls that I get, and I've had tens, hundreds of them probably, none of them have ever lost it. Not one of them has ever just let rip on us, except this guy. This guy loses it completely with us. It was during a live stream of Mech Warrior, and this guy, again, I wind him up somewhat rotten and then he snaps. It's freaking hilarious. You know what a ferret is? No? All right, well, um, there's these hardcore ferret videos that I'm watching. <laughs> I can't. Are you hardcore? Yeah, hard, hard, hardcore ferret videos, I mean. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sorry, I'm. Uh, I just got. I just. Yeah, got distracted there. Uh, yes. So, what do you want me to do? Yes. Yes. You just be in front of your computer, sir. I am. I'm. I'm in front of my computer now. I am. I'm. I'm. Okay, so you do one thing. Just click on. Just click on a start in the bottom left-hand corner on your computer screen. Mm-hmm. 
Click on start. Look yes. The right -hand uh, side. Yes. Then look at the right hand side. Just below the documents, pictures, music, game. Do you see computer or my computer? What do you see? Um, at the moment, I just see Francis the ferret humping another ferret. That's 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 all I can see at the moment. It's uh, we have. Okay, okay. You do one thing, sir. Go ahead. Yes, yes. You do one thing. Go ahead and cut yourself, you mother. Fuck you, bastard. No. <laughs> Ah, the day that guy's he's, he's oh shit I've dropped the phone. Oh that was great. He called us a mother that's the best that's the first time they've ever bit. He called <laughs> up you mother <laughs> Oh what a, that's great I hope you enjoyed them guys and yeah I know my channel's worth a buy but it's also there to give people a laugh. And I hope you've had a good laugh at these. I know quite a few years and have seen these. Quite a few years were in these streams. Um, but there's a lot of people, thousands of people haven't seen these. So I thought it was good to just put them up there and let you have a look at it. So I hope you enjoyed that.